here back in the video. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, welcome back. We uh, recently just left off with the um, let's see what video did we leave off with? Oh, force field. Okay, that's for sure. I always forget the one before. Um, so welcome everyone. And if you are new to the series or to my channel, feel free to click that subscribe button and the post notifications button. It means so much to me, guys. So thank you for time. Um, and also join the Discord. We are almost at 1,000 members, and that's pretty awesome because once we get there. We're gonna be uh, doing a giveaway, so feel free to join that. <laughs> um, but yeah, welcome everyone. Um, I know I am trying to post as much as possible. Like I said, I'm really busy, um, and I have a few live streams coming up. I might do a setup live stream where you guys are gonna kind of help me out with my room when I set up. So it'll be pretty sick. Um, but yeah, you guys, I got I got a lot coming. Um, but so in this video, we're gonna be talking about a custom loading screen now. There's a lot to this. Um, people might be disappointed. They might not be disappointed. It's kind of simple. It's just like I didn't really go off of the few things that I was trying to find because I actually don't really know how. Um, but as you can tell, first things first, go in the description and look for models. Once you look for models, you'll actually be just grabbing this right here and it will bring you to item own. You'll just click this button and you will claim it. That means you own it and you will be able to import this into Roblox Studio. So feel free to grab that and once you have that everyone, you are good to start this off. You're gonna go to Roblox Studio, just go to home and then go to toolbox and inside here will be inside inventory. Click this button right here, this first one right there and it should give you this folder. Now in this folder, it's gonna say ungroup in this. So you're gonna grab this and ungroup and replicate it first and then you're gonna right click it and choose ungroup. Now, if you don't have it replicated first, because some people sometimes don't, you just gotta go to model right here and then go to service, and you can actually insert it right over here, because there's like a bunch of stuff, like replicated script service, I don't even know what that means. So, yeah. Um, so, once you have it, uh, it's just gonna be a few things. Um, it's gonna be a GUI with a bunch of stuff in it, and then it's gonna have a lo two local scripts. Now, we're just gonna quickly look into the scripts and uh, show you, because honestly, like, um, you know what, well, let me, let me play it real quick and show you what it is. Now, it's it's not what you guys would think uh, right off the top. Um, like, really, it's just a custom loading screen from the Roblox loading screen because, you know, why not? Might as well allow it. Um, now, it still, you know, it still works either way. Like, you're loading in, you're going to be loading in. But I, I'm not too well of a scripter, guys, and I just wanted to get you out, like, just in general um, because, you know, it's... In general it's still like a nice loading screen so right here we load in but then see it's gonna do this little loading screen kind of fun thing and then it pulls up to the top so kind of cool example of that it, it looks really sick um, and then you know you're in um, now I don't I wish I had more stuff in this game because it'd show you like how it really take a sec um, but it's super cool um, and you don't even like you know there's so much ways you can customize this guys so I'll talk to you that about in a second but um let's look at this so we put it in replicated first I'm guessing just because uh, I searched this up actually I don't really know um, just because we're probably just doing that right away in the beginning so I guess um, but you're gonna grab the GUI so we're gonna go to script and then we're gonna go wait for child so we're going this is the parent and then this is the child right here and we're gonna go like loading screen um, and then we're gonna grab the player which from the local script is just game.players local player and then we're doing the GUI dot parent equals player dot player GUI so it gets put in their player GUI so they can see it and then actually okay so this is probably what is in replicate first we're doing script dot parent so replicate first and then removing the default loading screen so that's probably a a thing of uh, replicated first so that's probably what it is um but we're gonna keep repeating so it's gonna be like a while loop pretty much um and we're just gonna keep repeating this uh thing until the game is loaded once it is loaded then we're gonna grab the frame so right here we're gonna grab the frame the main frame and we're gonna tween it up so that's when it went up so anything so this is like let's say this so this is uh deletes loading screen and then right here starts to uh, wait till game is loaded and then right here once game is loaded and then right here we move frame up and then down here we wait a second and then we delete the frame we delete the GUI yeah delete the GUI so it's kind of just this little process um so it's pretty simple with that um now the thing about this is you guys are probably like what about the assets or like models or parts or this and that i really couldn't find a way and i and i mean like i tried um there really isn't any help on this i mean i know there's roblox developer forms and it's the api stuff but i still couldn't really figure it out 
uh, and I was just like, you know, this is pretty much the same thing. It's still kind of easy. If you were to try and attempt to make one where it loads the assets and loads this and that, then we can probably do that. Uh, I might do it in another tutorial. I just wanted to get this one out because it's still cool. You know, it's just a little thing you can add. But that's pretty much it. So we're, like I said, we're waiting for that to load. Once it's loaded, we're gonna put the frame up and delete it. Um, so that's the main script. And then in here, we have two more scripts. So this one is the tween service. This is for the image, the logo that was rotating. And then right here is for the loading, so the, the text. And we're just creating a while true to script and we're just waiting every like little 0.5 seconds and we're just repeating that. So it's gonna be loading dot, 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 dot. We're repeating it because in this script, see how we have over here, when this ends, we're just gonna delete the GUI. So it's gonna stop it, it's gonna be done for. But that's pretty much it. And then inside the UI gradient right here, we just have another one. This is for the gradient background. Um, it's just the speed and the, everything like that. You can just change the speed. You can also change these numbers and stuff. I wouldn't recommend touching them. Like right here, you can see over here. But, um, you know, pretty easy. Uh, but either way, that's pretty much it. Um, but, you know, like I said, so that's pretty much it we just have that ui gradient is right here so you can change that so i'm gonna actually show you here so how to change this stuff is you bring it into starter gui okay so this is what it looks like now i didn't want to do anything too crazy but you know it looks still really cool um and inside here we have the frame this is the background color and then we have the gradient like i said um you can change the gradient by just clicking this down here and you know doing whatever you want see how i can do green you know like that's that's a cool color not gonna lie um, you know, you can do literally anything guys. So be creative, you know, do, do whatever you want. Um, but I left this gradient in for you guys cause you might like it and you want to add more colors and stuff. Just click it there. Oh wait, let's go back to that. So, oh well, well, you know, whatever, just do an orange. It's cool. Um, and yeah, I like that color. So pattern, this is the background pattern. Now, if you are wanting more patterns, I'd recommend you guys download the interface tools plugin because in here has all the gradients, just like vibe NYC and all of them they use this so you know it has a gradient you know right here you have the patterns super cool guys amazing amazing plugin so i recommend using that um and then uh, ui corners just to make the corners um and then the pattern of course start that already don't worry about the frame now the image label and the text now to customize this you just go down here into the properties you know have properties open go to uh home tab oh, wait view tab and click that properties button up there but um in here you have the text label and you can just change this all you'd like the text font is perfect that's like what i really change around in here because that's what looks makes it look cool um see like that's that's pretty sick you know that's simple um now the image label so you guys are like probably wondering um wow there's like cool ways you can do this um and i think for the future future upcoming loading screen maybe i'll have it be where it does the look the cool fade out fade in type of stuff but honestly i just had it rotate because you guys can actually just put your logo um so yeah this would do me rotating you know i have a bunch of other things in here but like if i did a settings you know i could just rotate that you know so be creative and you can do your logo so i mean it's not gonna look too good because it's gonna look like that so i'd recommend adding a ui aspect corner ratio um and make it look like a circle but like i'm trying to say guys is be creative with it um you know this is cool like you can have it really just be really cool and i had this roblox logo with you for fun so do whatever you want you know you can just do the text of the game you know if you guys have that transparency um already made but i hope you guys did enjoy this it's, it's really simple guys um and let's say you want to rotate this differently you can just go into the, the script right here and you know change this right here it's pretty easy and then this goes the opposite way so change that to positive one go the other way and then this you know with rotation um if you don't want rotation just delete that um but yeah you guys i'm gonna try and get out as many videos as possible um i'm not trying to rush them see like as i said guys i couldn't get too much out i mean i couldn't get an amazing product to you guys but this is what i tried for so hope you enjoyed it um i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching this video um but yeah you guys thank you and i'll see you later